everyone welcome back to my channel uh, today I am working on um, I believe it's uh, number 15 in the countdown to Christmas series that I'm doing and today I'm sharing these uh, cute um, packaged gift tags that I've done I thought um, I would show how I package mine up and also a few of my uh, cards that I've made how I package those as well and um, they're really cute um, it's just a nice way to present them if you're going to give them to someone um, or you know if you were selling them at a craft fair um, it's a nice way to package them up and um, you know the more festive they are I think the better um, there people like them you know especially if you're selling them um, I'm not selling mine but um, I just wanted to present them this way to um, when I give them away um, so what I did um, I'll show you the gift tags that I've done first here so I've done a few different ones. Uh, here's one um, I cut out and I used my stamp that I have that says uh, it's a uh, musical notes. Um, it says we wish you a Merry Christmas. So I just stamped that out multiple times to make it um, four rows because it's just a single row stamp. And then I layered it up with some pretty um, poinsettia paper. Um, I'm really liking this uh, poinsettia paper from the Michael's uh, Safe Freeze Christmas pad that I got. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's really pretty with the snow um, on there as well. And uh, so I used that and used my die cut and did the inverse of this one. Took the word Mary out of there and then just used the little back um, ground on here and just added some little gemstone on there. And then um, on the back, you could put um, the two from or whatever you like on there. Added some little baker's twine in the red and white. So there's one. And then I did another one here, a little bit smaller. And um, of course you can do the tags in any size you like, um, whatever size you like to cut them out. I used my envelope punch board to round the corners on these. And then I die cut this little um, kind of label um, on there and stamp Merry Christmas on there. And just to add a little gemstone and then the baker's twine again. And this one, you, hear, you heard a jingle bell. <laughs> um, I just uh, used a little uh, the buffalo check on here, layered on another piece of pretty paper, um, added a scallop punch um, snowflake on there. It's got some glitter, it's a glitter paper on there. And then a uh, die cut out the word Noel and attach, attach that on top and then I this one I just added a little jingle bell that I had just thought that was cute and then the baker's twine as well so that's that and uh, let's see so now I'll show you the um, the way I package them here so um, this first one is um, I usually put three in a package so I've got um, I think the big the biggest one at the back and I put it so that you can see the the front of it as well so if they turn it over you can see both sides look nice um, so I have three in each one and um, obviously you can only see the front one in this one but um, I have kind of went with the, the poinsettia uh, theme here and then um, just made a little topper put it in a cellophane bag and, and decorated just with just fairly simple I like clean and simple um, works for me I like a little bling but not over the top <laughs> So I added the snowflake and the word Noel on there that I um, die cut. And then here is um, another one here with the same poinsettia um, paper that I used. And it says uh, peace on the top of that one. And then there's uh, different uh, gift tags in there. And here's one that says Mary. And um, a little bit differently with the gift tags. This one has a a piece on there that says it says peace <laughs> um, with some little uh, red vines and a gemstone and there's three different ones in there as well this one kind of had a peace theme but I put the word Mary on top and then I did a couple of different ones here um, I used the the stamp with the um, we wish you a Merry Christmas and just layered that on on this one here and then there's a couple different ones in there as well used um, a pretty green um, paper that was in the Safe Freeze uh, paper pad as well. And then these, this point set on the top here and the snowflake are um, from a sticker package that I got at the Dollar Tree. And then I just die cut out the words again, Peace and Mary. 
and then this one has the same uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas um, music on there and there's a Christmas tree one in that one and but yeah I think they turned out really cute so we um, might give you some ideas and those were just uh, some of the uh, words that I had die cut it looks like that and um, for the uh, I usually put them in the, these cellophane bags. Um, they, these were actually cookie bags, but um, I just cut them down so that they would fit um, the um, tags. And let's see here. If I can get this on, I usually put you know, the biggest one in the front. Actually, in the, that goes in the middle. And then I put um, maybe this one will go in front of it with a little jingle bell on there. And then I would put another one behind there so that you could see it. And this one has a two on the back. You could put from as well, but I didn't like the from stamp that I had, so I didn't do that. So that would be the back. And then you just get those kind of organized the way you want them. And then for the topper, I just cut out a, I think it's a four inch, um, I mean, it depends on the cellophane bag size you have, but cut out, I think it's about four inches. Um, no, actually, sorry, three inches, um, and then scored it down the center, and then this would go on the top like so, and then you would just add your decorations to uh, dress it up. So that's that. And then I just wanted to share a couple of other cards that I made. So um, I, I did this one, uh, I think it was yesterday. Um, then I, that's a stamp I had um, with a little... Uh, it's got a church in there. It's got some little houses and pretty trees. And then I just added a little stickle to that and uh, layered it up um, on, a, I think that's a point set of border that I used. And then on a green uh, pretty background and then on the white cardstock. And then just added a strip of a silver uh, diagonal design on there and stamped Merry Christmas. So that was one I did. And then here's another one. This one is uh, all in the green theme. It's uh, Tidings of Comfort and Joy that I stamped on there. Stamped a snowflake. Used a little bit of glitter paper for the scallop circle. And then um, the border of We Wish You a Merry Christmas music and with the snowflakes on there. I thought that was really pretty. So yeah, there's so many ideas and things you can do. And I'd, uh, this is how I packaged my... Um, uh, cards here just simply in the cellophane sleeves and um, I'm waiting for my stamp to come I just ordered it with um, my name on it but for now I just put a little slip of um, paper in the back that says um, blank inside because these are blank cards um, and my name designs by shell um, so I, I did that for all of them and then they're ready to give to someone so they can use them um, I think they look really festive and and neat so I hope um, you feel inspired from all of these uh, ideas today and um, thanks again for watching and don't forget to hit the little bell so you get uh, notified when I come up with um, my next videos. Thanks again. Bye for now.